The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. So now that my array has been created, notice that when I hover over one of these circles, how they all become highlighted. This is due to the associative icon that I had selected in my ribbon a moment ago. It is treating this as one object, similar to a block. Now the nice thing about this is I can go in and do further edits if I select the object. My ribbon returns that we became familiar with a moment ago. But this time around I have an options panel that wasn't available to me the first time around. With this options panel I can make further edits. I can edit the source and select one of the objects here. And it gives me a message telling me that in order to get out of this uh, editing state, I need to type array close. It brings this to my attention because the icons that uh, CAD is using are pretty nondescript. They're tucked away up here in the corner. I can save the changes or discard changes. So because this has been created as an associative array, if I make changes to one object, it's going to carry those changes all the way around. That can be a pretty handy way to uh, make some adjustments. I'm going to trim out a portion of this circle and hit enter and see how all the rest of the circles all of a sudden became trimmed out. Once I'm through with that, I can save my changes. So that's a pretty handy way to make some changes. I'm going to undo that. So now we're back to one object. The other way that I can trim um, or make adjustments is if I explode this object and treat them as individual circles. Um, over here on my toolbar, I have an explode icon that looks like a box with the edges that have been pushed out. When I invoke that command, it asks me to select the objects that I want to explode. In this case, I want to explode the array. And I hit enter. And now instead of uh, highlighting all six circles, it just highlights them at, or treats them as individual objects. So now I can trim it out each portion. So there are a couple of ways that you can make changes to the array. Have fun arraying!